It's time for your daily dose of all things Chicago sports. This is the Daily Score. Now, here's your host, Mark Grody. Bears were fascinating at the NFL trade deadline. Jalen Johnson not traded. He is still a Chicago Bear. Does not yet have an extension. But Jalen Johnson stays still at the trade deadline. And then even bigger, the Bears have Montez Sweat now. Yeah, that Montez Sweat from Washington, the commanders. The Bears acquire Montez Sweat for a 2024 second round pick. This is a guy that had six and a half sacks last season, 35 and a half sacks over four plus seasons. That's his career, obviously. Never had a double digit sack season, seven, nine, five, six, six, five. That's your password right there. But he's never done the, the double thing, but he's a good player. We've seen it up front. We've seen him sack a bear. We've seen it. Yes, we have. We've seen that a lot throughout our lives. Um, and Montez Sweat, a first-round pick of the Washington Commanders in 2019. So that's the sort of some of the stock from which he comes. You know, this is not as splashy as the day the Bears made the acquisition for Khalil Mack. Um, it's definitely way bigger than the day the Bears signed Yannick Ngakwe, who has been a relatively quiet contributor for the Bears this year. But this was a big one. It's a big one for the Bears. I did not expect Ryan Poles to be busy or make a trade at the deadline. I don't even know if he did. So it would be interesting to see if I could find out how this all came together. But that's a pretty good product right there. One of the things that you know we're all talking about, though, is, yeah, second round pick. Second round pick. What good is it if Montez Sweat isn't here beyond this year we all know he ain't and you know helping the bears towards a playoff run this year we know this wasn't a rent player so in other words montez sweat becomes a free agent after this year the bears would have to get a long-term deal done with him or you know transition tag franchise tag they could go into that territory as well but really you gotta sign this guy to an extension after giving up a second round pick and we know that after what happened with Chase Claypool, losing a second round pick because of that and getting zero out of it, you're allowed to be a little bit concerned when you hear that. We're going to get some reaction on that in a second from Peter King. But right before we go to Peter King, I want to play you. This was on the score earlier today when the Montez Sweat news hit, which was during the Bernstein and Holmes show. Bernstein and Holmes just happened to be talking to Bears linebacker and Chicago guy, TJ Edwards. So TJ Edwards, the Bears linebacker, live on the score when the Montez Sweat news hits. You, sir, have a new teammate. Because really? according <laughs> to Adam Schefter, the commanders and the Bears have agreed to a deal that will send defensive end Montez Sweat to the Bears for a 2024 second round pick, your thoughts? I mean, that's <laughs> we'll take it, baby. That's a that's a hell of a player. No, that's a, I'm just I'm looking at it right now. So yeah, that's, that's the first time I heard of that. But um, I mean, hell yeah, no, that's that's big time, no doubt. That's awesome. That's awesome. Great reaction right there from T.J. Edwards, the Bears linebacker on the Bernstein and Holmes show, and I guess. Uh, per our producer, Ray Diaz, Dan Bernstein, who has been hosting forever, um, who's been through it all in terms of being a host and having guests and pontificating and opinionating and all of that stuff. He said that that on his watch, that's unprecedented to have a prominent player on the air while a prominent move was made on behalf of your team. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. TJ Edwards on Montez Sweat, who is a Chicago Bear. All right, let's listen to Peter King now. Peter King, the one of the you know Hall of Fame media men of the NFL, a regular contributor on the score and on the Parkinson Spiegel show. Like I said, you got to get a, an extension done with this guy to make this worthwhile. What say you about Montez Sweat, Peter King? Bears made an interesting move with Montez Sweat. He's a good football player. And to me, I would hope, uh, if I were Ryan Poles, I would hope 
that I had a very good chance to get a deal done with Montez Sweat uh, because uh, that's going to be essential. <clears throat> if you're going to give up a two for a guy like that, uh, you better have him for more than uh, nine or ten games. Especially in a year when they're going to be hard-pressed to make a playoff chase. So, yeah, I, th- I think – I think we have to assume that there's going yeah. to be an extension or at least the efforts of an extension. Even with that, I mean, the Bears are pretty far away. Are you it, – it is a two because this it's similar to the Claypool deal last year in terms of that. Yeah. It's going to be almost like a one quality. Does it make sense to give up that much for – you know, games of non-consequence this year and the opportunity for the exclusive re-sign uh, control, or at least the, the only conversation. Way, the, only way, the only way it makes sense is if he plays for them uh, in 2024 and probably at least one year after that. Because you're right, they're not making the playoffs this year. Uh, this is a move definitely for the future. You have to trust that Ryan, Ryan Poles is going to get this going to get this done so that it isn't just a half season deal so i'm pretty confident he's he's got to uh or else uh it was really a big mistake spot on it would really be a big mistake and i think the key part there is as i was listening to peter king i think i was almost saying it simultaneously that's right peter king and i same level you know what i'm saying um thinking the, the exact same thing that you, I guess you, you, you got to trust that Ryan Poles knows what we know. <laughs> you know, I always say that, like, if we can all see it, I trust that Ryan Poles is seeing it too. Okay. I mean, I don't think the man is dumb. So, uh, I, I, yeah. It, it would have to be just, it would be a colossal breakdown if they, didn't get that done. So that's Peter King and kind of stating the obvious, really. Let's get one more piece of uh, audio reaction on the Montez Sweat deal. And that is from Brian Mitchell. There's a lot of Brian Mitchells in this world, a lot of Brian Mitchells in sports, but this is the Brian Mitchell that used to play for Washington um, and famous around here because he's the guy who's a lot of records that uh, Devin Hester has beaten and passed up on the special teams list. So, um, yeah, Brian Mitchell. He was like the big time. He was the guy that you'd mentioned as like the great, one of the greater special teams men of all time until Hester sort of, you know, did what he did. Um, but he is now Brian Mitchell in still working in DC at 106.7, the fan. So does sports talk just like all of us. And, um, Oh, if you didn't hear, Chase Young, the other fine young pass rusher for Washington, traded to the 49ers. So you had Chase Young, the young, higher upside guy probably. just I, And I only say that just because of what the scouts think and where he was drafted. Chase Young, you know, top five pick. Um you know, Montez Sweat later first round pick. You know, Chase Young is the guy with all the hopes and dreams. Um, Montez Sweat probably maybe doing more or less what people projected, which is pretty damn good. But Brian Mitchell talking about uh, both of those guys, Montez Sweat and uh, and Chase Young, and ultimately, you know, who, who's the better player? Well, I think Sweat is a guy who the year his brother got killed, I think he kind of dropped a little bit in this performance. But other than that, he's there all the time. And I believe the best avail- the best ability is availability. The guy is at the game all the time. He's healthy. He's sturdy and things of that nature. Chase has a history already this early in his career of injuries. You know? And I think when you look at that, that is what I think. That's why Montez was uh, going, giving up for a second-round pick and Chase was for a third-round pick. I, do I believe Chase has a higher upside? Yes. But he's been injured now, so is that upside what I thought it was when he was first drafted? I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? But Montez, I believe that if he had a little bit more coaching and a little bit more belief to be able to sometimes use his athleticism, I think he could be a better football player. You know, I, I developed a mindset. Well, I told my coach, he's a coach for Monday to uh, Saturday. On Sunday, I'm the damn coach. Because if I've been doing something all week and it hasn't worked, 
Why the hell am I doing the football game? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to figure out something else. <laughs> well, I, I kind of want to hear more from Ryan Mitchell. He seems like he's an entertaining, honest, straight shooter. Wow, one of those guys. I like it. And you know what? He used a cliche there, but the more I hear it and the more I've been a reporter in an NFL locker room, been doing it full time since 2018, and I've done it sporadically throughout my career, but never this close up as as over the last five plus years. But the best ability is availability. That does ring true in the NFL. I mean, you could have a guy that is more talented, like Chase Young, like more raw talent probably pound for pound than Montez Sweat, but Montez Sweat becomes the more valuable guy because you could probably count on him for, you know, 13 or 14 games a season. I always leave a little window. I leave a little window for guys to get hurt, miss a game. It's just the way it works. But um, good stuff on Montez Sweat, a bear. And lastly, you know, they all, Jalen Johnson, kind of a – like if we're doing wins and losses at the trade deadline, it's kind of a loss for Jalen Johnson at this moment. I mean, he doesn't get he does not get the extension yet. He doesn't get traded. I guess you could say yet. So he doesn't get any of the things that he was throwing out there because Jalen Johnson did request a trade. And not only does that not happen, he gets completely outshined. Completely outshined by Montez Sweat. The Montez Sweat deal is what everybody's talking about and caring about. And for the moment, Jalen Johnson gets kind of pushed back in his corner. Go back in the corner. So not a great day for Jalen Johnson. Not that big a deal, though. He's still here, and he could still get an extension, and then he could still be traded. Who knows? Uh, It's all on the table still for Jalen Johnson, really. But Montez Sweat is the news, and we'll continue to monitor this throughout the week. I'll be at Hallis Hall Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday reporting for you. This is the Daily Score for Ray Diaz. I am Mark Grody. Talk to you soon. Bye.